Uh, I'm Eric Peterson, the Hillsborough Town Manager, and I'm going to provide a quick summary of the Town Board's meeting from Monday, uh, March 11th. One of the first items we did is actually presented the oath of office for one of our new police officers, Michael Tolan. So we want to welcome him to the community, and it's a tradition that our chief started a couple of years ago. Make sure the, uh, the officers get to meet the board members, and it's kind of a nice reminder of, hey, they're here. We are all here to serve the community. So welcome to Michael and his family in town. Uh, next big item the board addressed was the actual future land use plan. They, the board voted to adopt that and what the future land use plan is, it's a combination of a map that basically identifies all the different possible uh, uh, or allowed uses, whether it's a low density residential or office, industrial, things like that. And it's actually our planning director used a great term. She called it pre-zoning. It doesn't change what people can do on their property, but it is a guide uh, anytime there's a, a future request for rezoning or changing the use of the property. The, the future land use plan helps in that, uh, as well as if new development comes in. So we use that as a guide. It was actually a, a year-long process, so we got a lot of feedback from the community. They had two informational meetings over the past year, two public hearings, got feedback from the citizens, the Board of Commissioners, and then ultimately the Planning Board uh, went through multiple revisions on it, and they recommended approval of it in February. So uh, that's a part of our comprehensive plan, and we're moving forward, so that's nice to get that behind us. Uh, another uh, big item was the UNC Hospital requested the town board to uh, give them approval on a uh, sign that could be mounted on the retaining wall there along Waterstone Drive. Their site is so big and the hospital so far back, they uh, thought it would be helpful to have a sign. And that was approved by the town board and the renderings actually look really good. I think it'll be a nice improvement out there for the Waterstone development. Uh, moving on to water and sewer items, uh, the town board approved a contract to, uh, for dredging and dam maintenance at Lake Ben Johnston. And if folks don't know what Lake Ben Johnston is, it's actually a small, it's the impoundment area uh, just uh, off of Dimmicks Mill Road on the Eno River, and that's where we get our water from. Uh, there's a water intake right there at Lake Ben Johnston at the dam. It goes all the way to the water plant, so they draft their water off. Uh, it was a $381,000 contract uh, to do a couple things. That, that area has not been dredged in probably over 20 years. So sediment's coming down the river, it fills up, it holds less water, so that gives us a little bit more capacity there. Um, and then one of the other benefits is it helps water quality. Anybody who gets their water out of a lake or a river, you get organic material, which is basically leaves fall in the river, they decompose or other things like that, and it makes it uh, harder and more difficult to treat the water. So there's a lot of organic material that has built up there, so by getting it all dredged up, it'll make the, uh, uh, make the water plant's job a lot easier to give us high quality water. And while they're dropping the, the water level to do the dredging, they're also going to do repairs on the dam and everything. So that was, once again, $381,000. Uh, and that was also approved by our Water Sewer Advisory Committee that recommended approval. Another one we've got, uh, water tank construction, is uh, d design is actually going to start on a new water tank that will be right next to the hospital, between the hospital and I-40. We often hear people say, we don't know where Hillsboro is or it's so far out, I don't want to travel there. So in addition to getting a water tank, we're hoping it'll be good uh, tourism promotion that people will come to town and visit our businesses if we have a, a nice water tank that ha says Hillsboro or Town of Hillsboro on it to let everybody know we're open for business, we're right here. Uh, the uh, Davis Martin and Powell is the engineering firm that uh, we're hiring. It's a hundred and sixty-four thousand dollar contract to do that. It'll be a half a million gallon uh, storage tank. Uh, it'll make sure that there's enough capa water capacity and supply, uh, and help with pressure at the south end of town as we expect there to be more growth in the future out there. That's um, a one point three million dollar project. The good news is that uh, we already have $500,000 in the bank, 
when Waterstone was annexed in the master plan approved by the town board, there was a series of uh, um, requirements that we had, uh, and one of them was that they make a contribution towards the water tank, and we came up with formulas to figure out what their fair share would be, and so those funds have been paid, so we'll still have to pay about $800,000, but the cost is deferred we'll end up probably borrowing the money and paying, paying it back over 15 years. Uh, construction on the project will start probably next January of 2014 and probably take about a year to complete. So it'll be open and ready to go when the hospital's going. In the uh, uh, other item of interest, the, uh, the town got some good news. The Government Finance Officers Association has an awards program called the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award and essentially they have a panel of independent reviewers who will review, in our case, Hillsborough's budget, and they've got a set of like four different criteria uh, areas that they go and rate and review our budget on. Uh, and the areas are policy document, operations guide, financial plan, and, uh, uh, and communications device. And it's like getting a report card on your budget, and they go through and tell you where you did well and give you ideas and suggestions for improvement which is always helpful and we try to incorporate those each year. And so uh, we got it, I think we've won the award 13 out of the last 15 years. The two years we didn't get it in the early 2000s, we were just, staff was so busy, we did not have time to submit it. So it's sort of like the good housekeeping seal of approval for your budget. So that was good news and a compliment to the town board and the staff who works really hard to have a detailed but under, easy to understand budget done. So those are all the major highlights from, uh, the, from the board meeting. Uh, I do want to let everybody know that on Monday, March 25th, uh, the mayor is going to have his annual State of the Town address. It's 7 o'clock in the town barn up here at the town hall campus, and uh, it's usually about 30 minutes long. So come on down and listen to Mayor Stevens, tell about what's been going on and what things look like in the future for Hillsborough. So, and if anybody has questions about anything that was on, uh, on the summary or looking at the agenda on detail on the, on the website, feel free to call me or any of the, uh, the town staff members and we'll be glad to answer your questions. So, thank you.